Hi, I'm Terry Munsell of the Munsell Group with Compass in the Desert. Today, I'm going to be discussing referral fees in real estate. I'm always surprised that the general public does not know about this process, or if they've heard about it, they really don't understand how the payment works, etc. You know, I've closed several deals recently where referral fees were involved, and referrals in the U.S. have become very, very common um, because the current market is post-pandemic people moving to areas that they don't know or they don't have contacts in other areas. In real estate, realtors are used to paying fees. They pay for leads all the time. When you search online on Zillow or Tulia, Dave Ramsey, Homelight, or any of the others like that, that agent is paying for that lead, usually around 30 to 35%. You know, the landscape of real estate has changed because of all the online business. The top 25% of the agents do 73% of the business. So know this, a consumer has a 68% chance of working with an agent from online who has sold zero to two transactions in the past 12 months. Think of that. When I have a client or friend looking to buy or sell in another market and they have no realtor, I refer that person to the best match in that area for them. This system is universally used in the U.S. and Canada, um, and the realtor who is accepting the client pays a referral fee back to the referring agent. Generally, it's 25% of the gross commission, but it could be any negotiated amount. Um, referral fees can only be paid between licensed agents, not the public at all. Um, my ability to find the right agent for people has come from being in the business for 23 years at a high level. And my vast network of agents across the US and Canada comes from my 15 years of coaching um, within the Tom Ferry system and from this elite group of people that I have access to, 20,000 Compass agents. I have an amazing group of agents who work at the same high level that I do. And I want my clients and friends to have that when they go out of area. I know realtors who have developed this leg of their business to the highest level. They go to trade events just to meet other realtors they can send business to and that they can receive business from. Prior to being a realtor, I lived in LA and Newport Beach. And if I were to buy a home in either area now, I would use a local realtor there for me because there are so many variables. Costs of closings, um, problems that can come up in inspections that are unique to that area. You know, every area is unique in the state and the U.S., certainly. When agents bring their clients to the desert, rather than referring them to the best agent here, they're taking on a lot of risks. If they don't know the clubs, for example, they don't know what pitfalls are coming within any given club or lawsuits, etc. I've had realtors try to show homes here all summer from L.A. who don't even know what gate to enter because they've never been there, and Google Maps has sent them to, like, the Uber gate, um, if you have a client, if I had a client looking to go to L.A., I don't drive them there. I don't have specific knowledge about those areas. I refer them to the top agent in that area that would do the best job for the type of property they're looking for and to match their personality. So how can I help you? If you are looking for a realtor anywhere in the U.S. or Canada, I can help. Next week, I'm going to um, a huge event in Dallas for the Tom Ferry event. There will be 4,000 agents there at my fingertips, and these are the people that actually work at the highest levels. Um, I'm in the U.S. again with the whole Compass Network. If you are looking for an agent, let's find you one that's in that top 25% doing most of the business. Thank you.